This happened uh, just after 3, 3.30 this morning. A call came in, found this young woman who is, we are hearing, in about her mid-20s, somehow managed to scale that crane. You may remember her high-climbing antics, scaling a downtown Toronto crane in the middle of the night back in April. Firefighters now come off the end of the crane and lowered himself down to the to the area where the victim is. Uh, he's there now, um, there safely. Uh, we're in direct contact now with the victim. She's she's conscious and coherent and cooperative with us. Good evening. I'm Adrian Gobriel. Tonight we are learning that Marissa Lazo, A.K.A. Crane Girl, has received an absolute discharge after pleading guilty to mischief, and she only has to pay one to two two hundred dollars in a victim surcharge. Though we are also learning that her high-flying stunt has cost a construction company $65,000 and you, the taxpayers, thousands more. It resulted in the rental of equipment, the diversion of, of all sorts of first response staff and hours and hours of effort, all of which could have been going to do other more important work in the city that day. Attending today's Toronto Budget Committee meeting, Councillor Shelley Carroll, who also sits on the police board, says Lazo's April antics stole money from the bottom line of every division involved. It was a huge inconvenience, not only to the city and the city's operations, but every resident who was affected by it trying to get to work that day. And she is now safely on the ground. Laza was supposed to appear in court today. However, unannounced to the public, she pled guilty to mischief inside a courtroom on December 29th. The Crown withdrew four counts of mischief and she received an absolute discharge. Today, I went to Marissa Lazo's house to ask her a few questions. Hi, how are you? Very good, how are you? Good, my name is Adrian Gobro. I'm with City TV. Okay. Seeing if Marissa was home or if she was available to speak with us. Any just thoughts on uh, the ruling? We might have received a cold greeting today. However, a recording from Lazo's guilty plea on December 29th has shed some light on what her thought process was that day. She claims she has been battling with mental health issues. After a night of drinking, she felt alone and made the impulsive decision to hop a construction fence and scale the crane. She told the court, I climbed to the top of the tower to see the view and take pictures. I thought it would make me feel more alive and would be exciting. She says when she climbed down, she slipped, grabbed a cable and slid down uncontrollably before landing on a small platform. Though the victim service charge of up to just a couple hundred dollars is unacceptable, according to the chair of Toronto's budget committee. Understanding that, you know, sometimes there are other issues that are involved, and I respect that, but when, when people are doing these kind of things, uh, there is a cost to the city. There's a cost to the city services, whether it's police, ambulance, uh, and, and they do uh, wish they would just sometimes recognize that those kind of costs do, uh, do occur. Marissa Lazo also told the court she is ashamed and embarrassed that she did not foresee the problems that this would cause, and it's something that will haunt her for the rest of her life.